Hey guys, David O here. Here's going to be a quick review of the Gator Frameworks bass drum or amp mic stand. This product's been out for a while and there's definitely a lot of reviews on the internet and YouTube specifically. So this is just going to be specific to the Shure kick drum mic that I have. Um, but let's just get into it. Just opened up the product and it comes with a weighted bass. And this is actually the reason why I got it is because it's got this rubber grooves that supposedly will stabilize the mic. And actually I can tell even on a carpet, it definitely prevents it from moving around a little bit and stabilizes it. Of course, I think if you had hardwood in your studio, that would even stabilize it more. So, and let's set this guy up and let's see how it handles the Shure PG56 microphone. All right, so there you have it. Pretty easy to put together. And in terms of the weight, it looks like it is stabilizing it. The rubber on the bottom is doing a good job of stabilizing along with the base, which probably weighs about two, two and a half pounds, something like that. So one thing I don't like is that there's no way to adjust the height of it. So for example, if I wanted to put this deep in the hole, which is a kick port hole, uh, I would have to actually move the head so it's higher up because right now I would only be able to go in maybe an inch or two like that. So I would have to move the head up higher so I can actually get the mic close to the batter part of the head, the front part of the kick drum. So in this case, I probably won't do that. I'm just gonna mic it as such. And in terms of the footprint, it's pretty good. It's only maybe four inches this way and maybe about seven inches long, four inches wide. So that's pretty good. And what I'm probably gonna do is mic it like that. So maybe half of it's inside the head and half of it's not quite inside the head. Although in this orientation, I am getting a little bit of wobble. So we'll see how that plays out when I put the cable in and do some recording. All right, so as you can see, I was able to get the angle I wanted by moving it to the other side of the kick drum and it's stable so that's a good sign and um, there's also some cable management clips which i don't need in this case since my interface is on the other side so yeah i think i think overall this is a good buy for the price and you know again it's not perfect i i'd probably want a little bit more flexibility in terms of the height and um, maybe the weight should be a little bit more so it gives me a little bit more flexibility for cases where I want to go all the way in and extend the mic out. Uh, but overall, it seems like it's going to be a good fit for me. And if you thought this video was helpful for you, um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing more reviews and performances. Thank you.